question here of can you lose your salvation? <laughs> that's, that's a great 17th century. I don't cent. think they were saying you personally. I think well. that was the... Just wanted to make sure I didn't think it was an accusation the way it was written. No, I, I, but you'd be quite justified in doing so. Paul says in um, 1 Corinthians 9, he says, I pummel my body and I bring it in subjection, lest having preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Those of us who are preachers, I think, should read that passage quite frequently because it is possible to be horribly self-deceived and there have been fine Christian leaders, apparently, who have been horribly self-deceived. I know that's a way that Calvinists then get off the hook, that if somebody does actually go totally off the rails and deny everything, etc., you either say, well, they've just gone mad and God will save them anyway, which might be the case, or you say they were never really saved in the first place. Um, those are the two sort of get-out clauses. It seems to me that it's always the danger with any doctrine of assurance that assurance can spill over into being casual. And I fear for that with young people who are told that because they have said a prayer, they are now saved and nothing they can do can stop that. And that if they try to do any sort of good works, they are merely adding to their salvation by their own efforts and that's wrong. And I think that's a recipe for moral shipwreck in the next generation. But I say to myself, you know, as a 70 year old preacher, yeah, I gotta watch out lest having preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Um, I take that very seriously, not because I don't believe in the doctrine of assurance, um, but because I know, I know my own heart. Here's a question.